This is in any way all encompassing. This is simply trying to make a very complicated matter understandable in a very compressed timeline. A lot of what Roe and Casey turned on, especially Roe, was when the government could prosecute a crime against a life. And I know that doesn't seem to be reflective very much in the opinion just issued, but that is part of that underlying concept is that when the government could charge somebody with an offense for taking a life had a great deal to do with the ultimate way those opinions framed out and that trimester type of scheme that was part of that body of case law. But that doesn't matter anymore because this opinion ends with this very simple short statement. Abortion presents a profound moral question. The Constitution does not prohibit the citizens of each state from regulating or prohibiting. Roe and Casey took that authority away. The Supreme Court has overruled that decision and that body of decisions and returned the authority for regulating or prohibiting abortion to the states and their elected representatives. And that's as succinct as this 80 pages of opinions could be. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what the dis dissent had to say in the next segment, but again, I'm gonna urge, remind, and you were all Americans, white, Black, brown, yellow, native, we are all Americans. This is not a moment of panic. This is a moment where we've got to come together. We've got to work together. We've got to understand. We've got to communicate. We've got to get in communication. Because the last thing that will help with the controversy that this is undoubtedly going to create is divisiveness. All right, be great. See you in the next episode in the studio. We're talking about we're talking about the end of Roe and Casey, the Roe versus Wade decision and that 50 years of case law.